So we would like to find the equation of the plane that is uh, that contains this line given by the equation written here and is perpendicular to the plane with this equation. All right. So this is the plane that we would like. All right, right here with the brown brown color, I would say approximately a brown color. And here is uh, an equation of the line that this plane contains. And then the plane has to be perpendicular to this plane right here. Okay, so let's look at the features of uh, these equations that we have here. So we have the point with uh, the coordinates. If you look at the equation of the line, 1, 1, 6, or this line passes through the point with coordinates 1, 1, 6. Pardon my handwriting. Okay, uh, let me fix it quickly. Sorry about that. One. 1, 6 and is parallel to the vector with uh, components what? 1, then here you have 2 and then the third component is 1. So this line, uh, this line contains this point and consequently the plane con contains the point with coordinates 1, 1, 6 and is uh, the line is parallel to the vector with core with components one two and one and in addition we have uh, this that uh, this uh, plane the blue plane which is perpendicular perpendicular to our desired plane that is normal to the vector with components one three negative one that we obtained from here from the equation of this plane. So how do we find the equation z equals ax plus by plus c? So to find the equation of uh, this uh, plane, let's take a point p here with coordinates x, y, z. I just wrote it up beforehand because of my handwriting. Okay, and then we shall find a relation between the coordinates x, y, and z. So what we can do is first let's just form stuff with whatever we know so that is let's form this vector here okay, so this is a vector in this plane and the line that the plane contains we know it's parallel to this vector we're just optimizing everything so that we can work with minimum information so i got these two vectors whose cross product uh, let me first write the components of this vector. Uh, here my one got overwritten anyways. So components of this vector will be x minus 1. What do we do? We just subtract the uh, components of the, uh, the terminal point. Uh, sorry, component of the initial point from the terminal point. So we got x minus 1, y minus 1, and then z minus 6 this comma looks bad so z minus 6 so this is a vector contained in the plane and the line that is contained in the plane is parallel to 1 to 1 or this vector 1 to 1 is parallel to our given plane so what that gives us is this the cross product of this uh, vector that we formed in the plane and uh, this vector that's parallel to the plane so this would be what this will be perpendicular to our plane or will be normal to our plane okay now our purpose is to form an equation so and we don't have an equation yet but remember this there is one another tool or another information that we have right here that one three negative one this vector is perpendicular to this uh, blue plane and that is perpendicular to the plane that we want so as a consequence what will happen this vector right here will be parallel to our plane the plane that we want whose equation we would like to derive so what we got is that uh, this vector here 
is perpendicular to our plane, the desired plane, and this is parallel to the desired plane. So the dot product of this vector with this vector will be zero. That is, we have, if we look at this, I just typed it up before for handwriting problems. So if we take the dot product of these two vectors as I indicated here, that will equal zero. And uh, now what we have, now we have an equation in x, y, and z that we can simplify by using a scalar triple product or we can do it longhand, whichever way you would prefer. So now that we have obtained our equation, but in case you want to simplify it using like, you know, with me, then I'm just going to go ahead and recall for you how to calculate these scalar triple products. And we can just use a shortcut instead of doing it longhand. That is, uh, if we bring it in here from our OpenStax uh, textbook that we have for free, uh, note this, that, you know, this is a shortcut. Just take the, uh, value of the determinant formed by whose rows are formed by the components of the vectors and here using the property that uh, we can interchange the cross and dot in this manner what we can do is that we can calculate our cross product or scalar triple product in the following manner that we will uh, just form the determinants with, with these components as the rows of the determinant. And you know, how would we obtain a value of this determinant? Let's expand it according to the uh, first row. So what we have is I'm going to do that in a, just write it out, just in case you forgot how to do that, or you should not have forgotten because we are doing the cross product anyways. I'm writing it out again if you don't mind. So we got this. Now we'll switch the signs. And then uh, with that, we have uh, y minus 1 here. And then we will have the uh, uh, determinant. What we will do is that we shall just delete this one, which I'm going to let the computer delete it. Okay. So here it's out. And then we have the last part that is a plus. Uh, z minus uh, 6. Okay, so we got z minus 6 here and then again the determinant and now we will take these two here. Okay, so we got these and that becomes equal to 0. And I don't know why I wrote it at right hand. This is okay. We can just keep it like this. Now look at this determinant. How much this will be? Negative 2 minus three times one, that is negative five. So what we get is we get negative five times x minus one. All right, and just a second. And then we have uh, minus uh, y minus one. Okay, now we are gonna bring, the, bring in the coefficients. What is the coefficient? One times negative one is negative one. Then we will have negative one times one that will become negative two. So negative, negative will become positive and that becomes a two. And uh, then we have plus, here you can see three times one is three minus two times one is two. So that will simply become a one. So the coefficient of z minus six is simply how much? One, right? Okay, and so this is uh, an equation of the plane, a good looking equation. And what we can do is we can now solve it for z. So we will let the computer do the algebra. That is, I'm just going to ask it to expand this. Okay, so what uh, we got here is that uh, here we go. And now we will just move everything else to the other side. Okay. Now, before we do that, why don't we just make sure that we got a, you know, plane that we wanted. So let's just quickly rewrite it in like just in a typical form so that we have, a, and I'm just moving three to the other side and here is the plane and we wanted these two to be perpendicular. So if you look at the, here is a, normal vector for 
the uh, first plane okay so that is negative 5 2 1 and for the second one what we got is okay, we got this uh, 1 3 negative 1 and if you take the dot product of these two what you notice is you get negative 5 plus 6 minus 1 that is 0 so the two planes are perpendicular now in case you want to make sure that this contains the line that you were given just take several points on the line and see that they are contained in here or we'll just go ahead and verify it graphically now so if we wanted it in that uh, z equals ax plus by form so here is the final answer and we are going to obtain it here that is we have this and uh, then what we shall do is we shall just write the value of z and what that will be uh, 5x minus 2y plus 3 okay and i don't know why i wrote it in this manner z equals 5x minus 2y plus 3 and this is our final answer okay and I took so long but the thing is you can do it in much shorter time than I did so when you start your MATLAB you'll typically get this so just go to home and ask for a new live script this becomes easier to edit in here and I'm just going to go ahead and maximize uh, this window here. Okay, that is drag it down and I can't. Don't worry about it. Okay, now here. That's all right. So we just got it out of the way. So here we can write our command. So what do we want to do right now is uh, this. That we would like to graph this line and uh, this plane and this plane and solved it for z just to use the surf command in matlab or uh, the uh, a function the graph of a function of uh, two variables in matlab easily so the way we will do that is uh, this so say i want to graph this in matlab uh, that is our line is this so let us introduce t as a symbolic variable as is said here when we were typing sims uh, remember that uh, sims is a symbolic variable so so here i just this this command is going to give you equation uh, graph the equation of this line for you so we have a three we are plotting a function in three dimensions and one plus t is the first component of uh, uh, that vector that we are plotting plotting and here is the second component and here is the third component now we will erase this now because i just brought it in just to show you that all right and now in order to obtain the graph what we have to do is this that we have to press control you know the key control key and then press enter all right so here the graph is coming up so here a graph of the line and what we have here is negative 5 to 5 is uh, the range of the values of t you can change it and when you type this line with it will make a thicker line for you all right so i just copied and pasted instead of just making spelling mistakes now we are going to plot the other two planes so i will first say hold on so that it hold on, holds on to the graph of the line that we have now we have to plot a function of x y so what we will first do is this that introduce x and y as uh, symbolic variables and then which function do we want to plot we want to plot this function here z equals uh, x plus 3 y minus 8 if you remember okay and for that what we will do is i'm just uh, bringing that in here for you again to avoid my spelling mistakes and or a syntax errors okay so this is what we have and what this will do is that this will plot this surface and i just put this part in here 
okay over the interval where x ranges from negative 5 to 5 y also ranges from negative 5 to 5 and we will try to keep the uh, uh, the x uh, the the side oh, sorry the axis lengths equal so we will just say pba aspect and then we will go one 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 i hope i didn't make a copying mistake here syntax error here so right here you may notice actually so this is the graph i mean this is not the plane that contains the line and we have to you know bring that plane in and remember that plane was our final answer so let me just bring that plane in for you so remember that our final answer was this and actually that's going to be the plane that contains in there and again let me just quickly bring in the command in here for you and again we are just uh, you know plotting a surface a function that will give us a surface and the function is given by this expression and these are the ranges of x and y values so i'm going to press Control enter again and here is a graph that it gives us now you can see that uh, the plane that we have that contains the line and this is the other plane which is perpendicular which we also verified algebraically okay now in case you have to uh, you have to give a copy of this graph to me as an answer to an assignment you can say copy output okay and then open something like a word document and then here you just go ahead and paste it here